Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Fan Box episode. I know it's coming to you guys a little bit later. I was super busy over the weekend, but there are a ton of emails right now. I read 129 unread emails in my inbox, but I'm only going to read up until let's just say Saturday so that's probably gonna be like a hundred emails probably more I don't really know anyways if you guys want to submit your own Lego custom build creations pictures of them the proper email and how we like to receive those pictures in the description it's all in the description below so anyways lots of stuff to get through today and let's start off with the very first one Hello, Brick Vault. I love your work. Keep up the awesome Star Wars mocks. The images I sent you are a cruise ship built when I was nine, and the Inferno Squad is a mock I did in celebration of my entrance into Inferno Lug. I also included a bit of my outdoor photography. If you want to see more, you can check out my Flickr here. All right. Boom. Nine years old. Nice cruise ship. Looks very patriotic. Here we go. Oh, we're going to be setting up a scene similar to this, hopefully very soon. Awesome. Love the groundwork. Oh, yeah. That is a much better picture. I like the offset uh, little studs that you've got here that aren't perfectly uniform. That's a really nice shot of Luke next to his X-Wing. And yes, dude, very cool. Thank you so much for your submission. That was Brick Trooper Studios. We got the email that says, my seven-year-old built this. Let's see if we can, there we go. <laughs> I like this connection with the Technic here. Pretty interesting, yeah, it definitely cants back towards the back. Very interesting design. Next up is a build from Ethan. This is his V-22-based fighter. Kind of want another uh, shot of this. It reminds me a lot of the Ospreys. They fly over our studio just about every single day and mess up our audio recording. I break fault to made a concept hypercar in the same scale as creator expert F40. Love that one. Okay, let's check it out. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it definitely does look like it's got some F40 features to it for sure. It reminds me of the other creator uh, gullwing car that's a little smaller than the F40. Very cool. Hi, my name's Harrison. Huge fan of the channel. Hope you like my mock. All right, let's check it out, Harrison. Okay, I see an interior. This must be a po probably modular creator size, if I couldn't tell. Is this, is it a pizza place? Oh, no, it's a sushi restaurant. Oh, legit. Yeah, we got some. Oh, is this like Benihana's? This so is like a Benihana's, right? With the, with the fire and the oil and people can stand around and the chefs can uh, cook for the people, yeah? That definitely looks like a great interior. Ooh, sushi. I like the brick built sushi. Little artwork here in the corner. Awesome build. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I said that too. And there's a, a kendo studio or a dojo or something. There's all the different, uh, it's it's a ninja training ground. Thanks, Harrison. Hello, guys. I love the idea of having a separate episode just for fan mocks. Many of us beginning builders don't have thousands of faves on Flickr, which surely like to be reviewed by you. So here's my latest mock made for February. I've always been a fan of the Ice Planet 2002 series. So making this build was a lot of fun. You can check out the rest of my builds at the Flickr or Facebook. Awesome. All right. This was from Jacob. Oh, yeah. Ice Planet. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot of wheels. Nine wheels on one side. So it's 18 total. Yeah. We've got a, it's a much cleaner uh, staging area, interior. Ooh, I like this piece user. That's a relatively new piece, but it makes up kind of a fun looking droid. This is my background. <laughs> this is my, this is my desktop. I don't know which artist made this. Anyways, love it. Yeah, new and improved ice planet. They should come back with this. It's just such a fun color combo. Thank you, Jacob. Hey Jack, my name is Julius. I have been watching this channel for a really long time now. You guys are amazing and you two greetings from the Netherlands. All right. Ooh, I like, I know these details. I know these details. This is for controlling some kind of creation. What is this? What is it? What is what is this control? I want to know. Hey guys, big fan. Been watching for years. Keep up the great work. Awesome. Thank you, David. Ooh, this kind of reminds me of uh, Back to the Future, but then again, I say that about almost every uh, gray car. It does have a DeLorean kind of feel to it. I like it though. It's a bit strong. It is the DeLorean. It totally is, right? Interesting choice to use the, the gray jumpers there. A lot of fun. From Messer, we got some much cooler renders. Yeah, I think he makes instructions and he's got his own YouTube channel. Wow, this angel is very cool. Um, I wonder though if some of these pieces exist in the proper colors because it's always digital. Are those stud guns? What are... Okay, looks like we've got some really interesting connection points. Love the crown there. Oh yeah, this guy's got some massive fingers. I like the use of these old Technic joints that make uh, the larger hands. They feel a little bit more animated or maybe expressive. Yeah, he's got full instruction guide. I'm kind of curious just to see. Okay, so it's all digital. Thanks, Messer. Here is a mini tank I built a few years ago. Love watching the Brick Vault fan mocks. Always fun. Thanks a lot, Joseph. <gasps> this is a fun little mini build.
build. <laughs> Could you cut out your own little white star from like the side of maybe a little sticker sheet? Definitely a fun little mini tank. And then this one says, I really worked hard on this plane and I hope you can show it off. So, ooh, yeah, there we go. I like this color combination. It's kind of like a, like snow camo. Ooh, spilt onto the sides with the slope pieces. I kind of like the wings cutting back inwards. There's a really fun shape here. There's even some trans before the actual smoke starts to appear, which I can appreciate a lot. Yeah, it's the F43A-1 Owl. Thank you so much, Spitfire24. This is from Cole. Looks like we've got a Star Wars band, a clone trooper on guitar. Uh, is the Wookiee singing? Is that a microphone in his hand? I can't tell. A bar, open bar. I hope it's a. I hope it's all expenses paid. And uh, I like your build for the speakers. Solid, solid. Who's on drums? Okay. This is my Lego modular that I designed inside. There's a full. Kitchen breakfast, bedroom, bathroom, I don't have renders of the inside. Don't want to send a picture of me. Here, keep them together. I can't Such a fan. Thank you, Jacob. Ooh, this is nice. It's very simple, but sweet. We've got some brick built on the outside, and it somewhat feels smaller than a 32 by 32. But that's just kind of a general impression I have from this picture. Good job. I like it. It feels very patriotic. Hey there, I'm Anthony. I love making locks. It'd be awesome to feature in one of your videos. This white ship is a luxury yacht with a full interior capacity of 15 figures, but they've encountered a band of pirates on the seas looking to command commandeer some warcrafts. Who wins? You decide in the next step. Okay, P.S. There's a full color picture with the bottom of the camera. Okay. Boom. Let's check it out. All right, so here's the yacht. This is the defense. Ooh, it's all monochrome. I wasn't expecting it to be all white. This looks like another defense ship coming out in a couple of little speeder boats. Oh, wow. It's a strange coloration. Massive pirate ship. I wasn't expecting your builds to be so big. Ooh, I can't tell. Is that green? Oh, yeah. The coloration is just really funny in these pictures. There we go. This is a much better picture of the pirate ship. Massive cannon. Love it. Is that Anubis? I just watched The Mummy Returns last night. Very cool. Very cool. Anthony, thank you so much for your submission. Lego Star Wars Taking of Naboo from Ivan. I think that's how you say your name. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like the tile work. Uh, <laughs> is this him talking to one of the commanders? Like, is this supposed to be uh, one of those holographic projections? Very good. I like it. It's a super well-contained little build. Hey, Brick Vault Wolfpack 5 here. I want to show you my spaceship build based on the classic LL928 Galaxy Explorer. I have flattened, sleekened, and lengthened the design to look more modern and added an escape slash exploratory capsule on the back. The turbines on the bottom are for exploring oceanic worlds or just because they look cool. I love it when my new fan video, I love your new fan video format and I hope you guys continue it. Best regards. WP5. In my mind, I hadn't uh, understood which build you were talking about, but I know exactly which classic space. Ooh, yeah, the turbines are massive on the bottom. You are correct, sir. Ooh, I like the stand you made for it too. It feels very complete. Wow, those are some really old trans yellow. Very cool. I like it a lot. It's way sleeker. You're, you are definitely correct on that. All right, this is from Domangos. He has created these instructions. Oh, there we go. The Flying Scotsman. So this is an idea set and the instructions uh, can be found for free. It reminds me, of course, of the Emerald Knight, though it's uh, a little bit of a deeper color. Wow. Oh, he has like the full instructions out here. All right. Instructions by Domangos. So I love the engine. Oh wait, here we go. And here's just one more picture to give you guys a better idea of what some of these details look like. Excellent, excellent train car design. Here is Bastion from Ernesto. I like the color combination for sure. Right off the bat, ooh, the head is a little bit longer. He feels beefier, doesn't he? Oh, and the toes are really fun too with the just the ratcheted plates on their sides. Ooh, yeah, 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 folding cannon. I think it could give the smaller orange exclusive one run for its money. This is from Kelly. Hope you like it. There we go. It's just a fun little mock. It looks like these are all Lego sets, but just kind of a fun little mock up in the middle of the living room. That train must be moving pretty fast. Here's my Imperial Troop transport mock. I'm very proud with how it turned out, and it's a great addition to my Imperial Army. Love your channel. Thank you for the entertainment. You are welcome. This is from Noah. Ooh, this is fun. Yeah, it feels really solid. You've, you've managed to stud this thing out. You've got all the curves in there. Yes, I bet you are looking forward to that new Stormtrooper battle pack if I had to take a guess. Very, very good little troop transport. From John, we have a Venator Star Destroyer. It looks very, very flat along the top and a really, really big archway for the top by the bridge or the head of the ship. I bet that thing slides really well on your table. I have a feeling across the, what I'm thinking is the table, possibly wood flooring. Let's move on. Thank you, John. Hello, Brickfalls. I've attached photos of Frantic Snowman for fan mock videos. You can find more. Oh, that's funny. Independently, I saw your pictures and your videos of the Frantic Snowman. It's really, really awesome. I love this Bill. Woo! 
Yeah, he looks so good. Just the animation is super fun. Like this one, two, three. I don't know if these are official Lego rubber bands. Check out the uh, top 10 mocks video if you haven't seen it yet. I posted it, I think a little bit better detail there, but thank you from Joseph, another Joseph. Greetings, Brick Fault. Big fan of the show, especially a top 10 mocks section. So many great picks and a weekly dose of inspiration never goes amiss. Ooh, I like your rhyming. <laughs> Here are some pictures I've taken of an Asian fishing junk mock. Oh, I love that ship. Uh, I made about a year ago. I've always loved this style of bone. Wanted to make one of my own. As you can see, the sails are custom made in Photoshop and printed to cut to size. Wow, I've included five pictures as you've stated in the guidelines, but just in case you tempted to see more snapshots of the mock, I'll include a link to the full album my Flickr profile. From Shudawada. From Shudawada. Okay. All right. Ooh. Yeah, it's much smaller than what we saw from uh, like the Lego Ninjago uh, Destiny's Bounty Ship, but this is actually actually a lot more accurate. It's wonderful. I really, really like it. There we go. Yeah, I can see you wanted to stay pretty darn accurate. So that's why you made the custom sales as opposed to using the sales seen from an actual Lego set, the Destiny's Bounty, which has really similar sale design. Excellent model. I love it. I like to hide these and other builds like them in my sister's room because I know she hates them, but in a funny way. <laughs> also, I'm a big fan of the channel. I can understand why. Very good. Hold on, I want to get it closer. There we go. Creepy. Good. I Yeah, I can imagine you freaking, <laughs> freaking people out with these. Creepy, weird, and or strange little monster creations. This sounds like something I would do. All right, from the desk, here is your entry. This guy looks like somebody you might meet in Fallout or one of the Fallout games. Uh, just kind of the broken down background and post-apocalyptic kind of, but yeah, definitely an awesome looking evil bad dude for sure. Hello, Jake and Mike, here are my mocks. One is a Fedorov of Tamat. Okay, it's a Russian World War One, World War Two. Okay, it's a, it's a rifle. And the other are two some Star Wars builds. All right, thank you from Jens. Okay, yes, this does look like a rifle. It looks like it's scaled properly. That'd be my guess. And interestingly enough, I haven't seen a fig scale or sorry, a full scale weapon built with mostly Technic pieces. And yes, we've got a couple of Star Wars themed builds. This definitely looks like Ray's speeder. And we have something that feels Star Warsy, but looks pretty darn unique in and of itself. Maybe Solo's uh, speeder from the Solo movie. Awesome, I really like the speeders for sure, and it's a very interesting, larger weapon design. This is my Lego Movie 2 inspired mocks. The red truck is called the Interceptor. Okay. The cowboy on top is the leader of the bunch, comes equipped with an epic cannon. Yellow car is called Toxic Marauder. Red car, the flamboyant speeder. <laughs> flamboyant, nothing special about this guy. He just wanted to play the game before he got picked off. The last guy is called the bikiest. His dogs are straight. Where are you built? Oh, here they are. All right. These are some Lego Movie 2 inspired builds. Builds. <laughs> I remember this set. I like how you got to fit them all onto the little uh, ferry train. Yes. Yes, I like the cowboy operating the cannon on the top. You can definitely see the modified city set there. Ooh. Yeah, these are fun. I, I always like, for some reason, oh yeah, there's the flame buoyant car. I always like the builds where you have a gang of vehicles and they all have a special color attached. <laughs> Yes, oh my gosh, yes. Husky powered battle bike, love it. Interesting body piece used too. Thank you, Michael, and we're moving on. From the Brick Wiz, hey, Matt here. Just wanna say thanks so much for your, oh yeah, 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 I remember. You did a massive Kessel Run. Coming from a huge inspiration like yourself moves a ton. Here are some images of DCS Kessel Run Millennium Falcon with some somewhat light up parts in the cockpit engines and other areas. Supplied by Brick Stuff, yeah, from Rob. Rob is the best, isn't he? All right, yeah, Matt, I'll leave a uh, link to that video that he's talking about. He did an excellent Kessel Run mock. I, it was funny because I, I, I was thinking, I was like, nobody's done a UCS uh, Kessel Run Falcon and I just hadn't been looking hard enough. This is an excellent interpretation of, uh, yeah, it's like a little bit more smooth, which I feel like the Falcon from UCS, the latest version, could have been a smoother build in general. So I'm glad uh, that somebody went ahead and just made it look, I feel like just a little bit more accurate. Awesome, really good sticker detailing here. Once again, link to that finale video of the Kessel Run. People that make giant Star Wars mocks, especially one as good as yours, definitely deserves a little bit more attention for sure. This here is from Jordan. Ooh, what's the name of this Gundam? Doesn't have a lot of numbers and letters to it. It's like the RS-117, or I, I don't know what it's called. It's like the classic Gundam design. I like that. Getting the head is probably the most difficult part, I would guess 
for making one of these types of builds. I don't know for sure. I bet you you could pose this in an interesting way. It looks pretty flexible. Awesome job. Thanks a lot, Jordan. Hey, oh, oh from Sawyer. He has some designs up in the web store, also linked in the description. I hope this makes it into the video. I really like that you're trying this again. And we'd just like to thank you for helping so many builders like myself to be able to reach out further into the community. Here are my plus size models of the 1989 Batmobile at a similar scale to the one you've got in your store. Oh, yeah, from David Slater. Uh, thanks again. I hope to be working with you guys again in the near future. All right. Yes, the 1989 Batmobile. Clearly the most beloved. I know people like the Tumblr, but I'm going to go out on not too much of a limb and say the 1989 Batmobile is the coolest one, the most beloved. Uh, and it's always, this always feels like the most difficult section. I like how it kind of comes in a V there towards the front. Awesome job, Sawyer. Hello, Rick Falls. After a nearly seven year hiatus, that is a long time. I have rejoined the Lego community as an a -fold. being an avid Star Wars fan. I am shocked to see we haven't gotten one of these sets. Oh yeah, the Hammerhead. Yeah, I presented the Micro Hammerhead Corvette, possibly in scale with the UCS Star Destroyer, possibly not. Who knows? Thanks. Thank you for putting out such great entertaining and inspirational content. Thanks a lot from CT Bricks. All right. Uh, I just did some scale converting. Let's say that's a stud. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just say, let's just be nice and say eight. It should actually be 15 studs long if you want it to scale more accurately with the Imperial Star Destroyer UCS set. So now we know it's roughly half the size, but excellent little design for sure, and they should make a playset from it. Good job, thank you so much. This is an email from Joshua. I like the, uh, ooh, I like this piece used as a wing. It's smooth and it doesn't really take up a ton of space, but you don't have to worry about any odd, ooh, what is that flying over? I love your channel and had this sitting around for a while and thought I should send it in. Still not completely happy with the color scheme. Please tell me what you think. This is from Ruski. I like the lightsaber blade handles used uh, as handlebars that actually works pretty well with the slight curve it's got some promise you must be standing up in order to operate the speeder and uh yeah solid job i break vault been watching your videos since 2015 and absolutely love them the link to my mock is below oh wow it's an rc tesla motor 3 i want to see what it looks like as a completed model there we go oh yeah i've driven one of these once oh it's got suspension okay i'll leave a link to the full video if you guys want to check it out thanks for submitting all right this is my heavily modified Infinity War Hulkbuster. Hope you like it. So this must be based off of the original set. Whoa, yeah, he looks a lot wider. Uh, the arms look bigger and beefier. Nice, and I like that you took off those glow-in-the-dark pieces. Good job. So this week I have a tight schedule but still want to submit something, so I quickly built some things to put up this week. The first one is a follow-up to my first submission, the second is a go-kart with military people, because why not? And the last is a butterfly knife. Make sure to keep up the great work. P.S. I'm sorry for so many images. It's all right. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, there we go. I can see the full thing now. Boom. And a butterfly knife. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it actually does open up like a butterfly knife. Uh, uh, my favorite is the little guy right here. I love you guys' channel. Showed you this mock once before, but now gone through a few edits. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah, it looks a bit bigger. You can see the head better now, which I like. Oh, yeah, and it has actually just gone through a lot of changes. Love the Bionicle built figures in general. This is still a super solid creation. And those claws look really, really menacing. Good job. I have some pictures I want to send to the show. I just want to know what I should put in the subject line. Also, now I have easy access. Just send pictures, dude. Hello, guys. Love your channel and your love for Lego. This is the second time I have sending in a mock. Uh, last one was the Iron Man squad. I have been working on the ship for about two weeks, and I'm super proud of it. You guys are awesome. Continue doing what you're doing and stay positive. Ooh, there we go. The Supremacy. When will Lego make the Supremacy a set? I like it. It's such a funny ship design because this is, it looks like a pretty small version, like when you actually look at the, uh, the length of it. But then see how wide it gets. Even with a relatively small length, this is just such a wide ship. I feel like you got the proportions down pretty well and the layering looks really good. So good job, like it a lot. This is, maybe it could work as a boomerang too. Just a jet from Minor. Ooh, just a nice looking jet though. Wow, you got a really, really excellent shape out of what feels like extremely simple building techniques and simple bricks, but this is a super clean look for the jet. I like this extra layer on the back wing to have it come back in a little bit. Uh, the shoulders or sorry the intakes for the front here just have a, a a nice shape yeah this this looks like a great jet thanks a lot for the submission miner hey brickfeld here's a couple of my star wars mock the first one is a micro scale death star vader's castle and the second is the death star hangar bay for episode from episode four. Oh yeah that is a micro vader's castle you can see a little bit of the lava and then hangar with obi-wan fighting darth oh yeah it is you even have the uh micro fighter here that's that's exactly what i would have imagined the death star micro hangar bay mock to look like good job diamond Studio. Hello, Brick Vault. I'm Marcus from Budapest. This is my other project I've been working on. Hope you like it. Great videos. Oh, yes, Marcus.
because I remember your submission from last week. Boom, I see a helipad on top of a hospital. KFC. A helipad on top of a KFC. That's right, because you never know when you need to make an emergency KFC run. Toilet and everything. Good job. I like the interior. Yes, helipad for KFC. That's legit. Thank you, Marcus. Hi, Jack, Mike, and Ramon. Love your channel. Just wanted to share a mock combining classic space with the Slave 1 design from 2018 Cloud City set. Thanks. Keep up the awesome work. Ooh, that does look good. Yeah, this is from uh, yeah, this is from the Cloud City set. Uh, looks like pretty much the, the general same build design, but you've switched out the colors, and that is the happiest looking bounty hunter I have ever seen. Really like the yellow highlight. You were limiting with them. You didn't use them too much, which makes it, uh, I just think, look a lot better. Good job. Oh, uh, what is this? Hi, Brickfold. Here's my mock of Craig from Me oh, Cra Craid from Metroid. Uh, it's not my best because I don't have the right pieces, but I still hope you like it. I also included some official art from him so you can see uh, what I tried to build. Yeah, I can't tell you. I don't know Metroid that well. Ooh, I really like the head. The head is really expressive. What do we have here? Uh <laughs> <laughs> another another build with Benny. I like this. I don't care that you didn't have the right pieces. Uh, I think the face is by far the coolest part. This looks like a fun model to play with. This is also from the same designer. Uh, this is an updated mock from before that was too bulky, he says. And ooh, I like this guy. He's got uh, an extra joint for the arms, which makes him feel a lot more fluid. You get a really good pose out of him. The skull with the kind of uh, trans rainbow hair looks great. Awesome. I really, really like this one. Laughing, joking, um, uh, okay. Yeah, I like this guy a lot. See if I can all do this in one breath. <sighs> Thank you from Train Station. All right. Boom, boom, ooh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, I like this guy from the front. Definitely a little blurry on the pick, but the shape of that ship is awesome. Yes, and this kind of reminds me of Grievous in a funny way, but it's but it's not. Good use of uh, making a unique Star Wars buildable thing. Thank you so much. Fabrizio sent these in from the uh, Abyss submarines last time here are some more pictures thank you again fabrizio this is a balak balak the destroyer of worlds his dutifully serves he dutifully serves his master the radiant ones and uses their powerful technology to control light and destroy worlds the mini statue is of what the scale would be so he is uh, a big old bad boy let me see if i can get some yeah there we go boom 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 is he holding a light awesome it's got a good stance. I like the the kind of thin neck or the joint that you use there. His head kind of looks like it's floating off of the body almost, which is a little bit more menacing. Good job. Thank you from Zachary. Hi guys, thank you for your continued hard work. Here are some stills from one of my first Lego videos on my tiny YouTube channel. Uh, thanks again from Paul. Oh wow, this is great. Is that a drill press I see over there or uh, what is that? Oh, wait a second. Mike, come here, Mike, come here. You got it. No, this is worth it. This is worth it. Okay, okay. Do you recognize this? I didn't recognize it from this picture, but the next one I did. Oh, you... snappity snap. Isn't that awesome? That's Casey Neistat Studio. Yeah, it is. We were thought we were thinking this about is... making oh, this for my... so long. This is really good. Oh, dude. He did it all. He's got the boards. Oh, okay. oh did he? Oh, did he stop mail time? That's funny. Okay, so here's the idea. We. <laughs> Dude, you should send this to Casey. I don't. I mean, who knows? Send it to Casey. That's awesome. He's got a. You got a YouTube channel. I'll link you. Awesome. Good job, man. That's awesome. really, really good. Great. Thanks, Paul. I don't know if I can do this in one breath, but I'll try. <gasps> That's quite an inspiration that you have for for creating uh, a mech mock out of Lego. Ooh, interesting, interesting print you have there as well. Is that a custom? I haven't seen that before. I like it. It's clean. It's solid. And I think you built. Uh, I think you put a lot of uh, good thought behind the actual creation of this model. Thanks a lot for your submission. Alrighty, we've got some custom figs here. Uh, I'm not going to tell you exactly who all of these characters are, but he does have them uh, listed right up here. I believe some of these are completely custom figs and other ones look like actually you know what they're probably all totally custom figs very cool hi my name is jacob brennan's and i wanted to share some pictures of my lego modular church that i designed been a huge fan and hope you get my picks on your fan box of the week thanks no problem Ooh, yeah it's this fun little it's like one of those small quaint small town churches um yeah you got the guy up in the front and the in the seats i don't know the psalms but um yeah it's a wonderful little render i really like it especially from the front very good thank you so much for submitting jacob hey brickfell big fan of your channel and wanted to 
send you a fantasy mock that I made. I also really like your top 10 mocks of the week episodes. Keep up with the good work. Thanks a lot, Benjamin. Ooh, there's a spider. Is that an archer? Oh, what? Is that Chirrut and Way's face? I don't know. I could, uh, that, that's my guess that that's Chirrut's face that you used here. It's a wonderful little vignette, I feel like is the word you could use for this model. Thank you so much. Wow. From Andreas. I believe this is a custom super star destroyer, if I had to take a guess. And it's awesome. I I think you did a really good job. I like the way you uh, split some of these uh, plates and stuff right in between the studs to give it a little bit of extra height here and there. Hi, this is the Den 1 email I've tried to send and I hope this one works from JB. Let's get a closer picture. Yeah, there we go. We've got uh, Ayla Sakura and the clones charging some battle droids. Oh, and this is a larger one. You've got some soldiers in the back here, a speeder. They're coming up over the top to fight what looks like an incoming charge of droids. Good job. I like this little battle scene. Hello, Jack or Mike. This is my Batmobile in my F-22 Inspired Jet. The Batmobile has been a work in progress for about two years, so I submitted my first prototype of it as well. Keep up the good work from the Lego Monster. Ooh, wow. All right. Oh, this is a wonderful little, little design. Oh, is this your first draft? Yeah, I believe this is your first draft. And then boom. Yeah, your second one or your third one. Yeah, I could definitely see the improvement, especially by the nose. That's a great shape for uh, a jet. I really like this. The intakes look amazing. You got a wonderful shape for the cockpit. Thank you, the Lego Monster, or Angel, the Lego Monster. Hi, Jack, Mike, and Ramon. I love your channel. There isn't another like it, and that has the same quality as yours. I'm James. This is my micro-scale Lego fantasy. Bro, thank you for the kind word, James. Ooh. Oh, is this, this looks like a, a kingdom or something like a giant great hall entrance built directly into a mountain, which I can appreciate. It reminds me of sort of like a dwarf kingdom. Oh, is this a dwarf? Yeah, and it's like the hollowed out interior of the mountain underneath. That is extra good. There's a little harbor, giant tower, maybe a watchtower or something for uh, looking out into the ocean. You got small villages with rice and grains or something in the back. This feels really complete as a little world here. That is awesome. This is a really, really complete micro scene. Thank you so much, James. Infernal Bricks. This is from Infernal Bricks. We've got an ATST, somewhat steampunky, if I had to take a guess with the color scheme, though. It looks like you've just found uh, pieces that work pretty well. Nice. I like the use of the kendo mask. Thank you so much. Hello, Brick Fault. Last week I created the X-Wing mock, and this is my first mock. Most of the rear end is final, but I'm thinking about redesigning the front section. There's still a few missing bricks, but I could not get those to fit in LBD. The build is 880 bricks. Really want to build it myself sometime, but it's gonna be expensive. Also, a little question: Are you planning on making a Y-wing mark for the store? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a fun build. I do like, I do like what you did with the the, the rear engines there. And if you have trouble importing pieces on LDD, go to Studio 2.0. That's what we use here in the studio. Here, really, really good interpretation of the X-wing. Hi, it's me again. This time, I have a complete city in cyberpunk Lego Ninjago city style. Hope you like it. This is from Icarus. You weren't kidding. This is a huge city scene. I like. Oh right, this is what you submitted last time. I remember. Love it. You've got all these scenes out there. There's a Django helmet with the cape, and excellent. You got a police station, and I. I don't know what that is, but I know exactly what you mean. This is a really good cyberpunk scene. Thanks a lot for your submission. This is probably one of the most complete, uh, dark, futuristic, cyberpunky worlds that we've gotten submitted. Hello, I sent some marks a long time ago. I made these all with spare parts from three Ultimate Batmobiles. Oh, the little, the the little ones. That's awesome. This has almost got like a scorpion tail-like cannon in the back. It cants forward somewhat, which is great. And this looks like kind of the more traditional Batmobile, the Batwing. And this feels a little bit Tumblr-esque. Very good. Here is my custom Lego flying house I made. Big fan of flying houses and flying cars. I like what you did for the fan here in the back. It's almost like a little windmill or something. And yes, you got flames shooting out the top. It feels very steampunky. Very good. Thanks a lot, Ben. This is kind of me with a hat and headphones. I tried to use the go brick me to make a cool character. Thanks for showing my brick. Oh, yeah. So we were correct. Thank you. <laughs> I, I asked, I was like, let me know if this is you, and you did. Thank you. Hi, been following your channel for a while. I'm trying to get around to sending you one of my creations. I originally finished this build around November. Thank last year. you. The amino profile. I'll link that. And boom. Ooh, a cape used for the head detailing. That is new. Is that a cape? That is a cape. That is a unique approach. That is for darn sure. I also like this curve that you've made with these pieces here. The hands feel really expressive and also strange, but an interesting take on making the detailing for the legs here with the shin details. Do you see? on the sides of the legs anymore. Yeah, you can't see on the sides, but you use the bricks in a, in a, I don't even know how to say it, in just kind of a strange, interesting combination. Like so many weird choices that you made, but it, it 
all kind of works. Very cool. I will link your profile in the description along with anybody who's linked stuff. It's all in the description. Oh my gosh, somebody finally did it. I'm a designer on Instagram and a new, and new on Twitter account called A Mock Shop. This is the new ATGE look. Took a few weeks to design. I just wanted to show off because it's really popular. I hope you and the great guys at Brickbot like this build as it, is a functioning, it has a functioning ATRT ramp with full interior. Each leg has five points of articulation. Keep up the great work. Somebody has done it. We were just talking about this. Uh, I don't know. I'll test it right now. Wow. Yes. He has an ATRT oh, ramp that comes oh, down. Man. It's all digital, so realistically, to build this in real life, uh, it would take some troubleshooting. I'm going to check the the, the size on it right now though all right uh guys that is going to be it for this episode it already went on way too long i didn't even get close to finishing your submissions i'm probably gonna have to do this episode maybe two times a week now just to stay on top of the influx of all of the pictures you're sending over remember if you want to send your own pictures you can check out the description below also i've linked all the little flickers and youtube channels and everything anybody that sent a link basically uh that's all in the description below if you want to learn more about any of those other people's projects. All right, thanks so much for taking the time and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey everybody, wanted to pop in very quickly, let you know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell these step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego mocks. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that build these amazing Lego designs. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Check us out at www.brickvault.toys, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.